It's like everything everywhere is going crazy, so we don't go out anymore. We sit in the house, and slowly the world we're living in is getting smaller, and all we say is, please, just leave us alone. Well, I'm not going to leave you alone. I want you to get mad. I want all of you to get up out of your chairs and go to the window, open it, and stick your head out and yell. The Dean Blundell Show. This is mass madness, you maniacs. 102.1 The Edge. Uh, and a seven-year-old paralyzed patient at an Indian hospital uh, is in a serious condition after nearly being eaten by rats in the hospital. Good thing he was already there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what a coincidence. <laughs> The incident happened at Jodhpur's Mathura Das Mathura Hospital Tuesday. <laughs> Mohammed Iqbal <laughs> suffered rat bites on his face and ears. Oh. Chewing, uh, get this, yeah. chewing off his lips, nose, and eyelids. Oh. <laughs> go away, go away. Several rats running around and realized oh. the patient's lips, nose, and eyelids were cut, bleeding, or gone. Oh. Also, the ventilator tube was cut because a rat had eaten through it. They soon alerted staff who immediately attended to... Mohammed Iqbal. Hospital administration didn't confirm the incident. They said, though, they did have had a rat problem for some time down in the medical waste area. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy. I know. It's You'll like never be able to right. blink again. <laughs> <laughs> Go away. Dude, imagine. He'll never be able to sleep. He'll never be able to sleep. He's totally paralyzed. <laughs> Please don't leave me alone. <laughs> don't eat my oh, don't no, eat my no. lips, oh. not my eyelids. I, need those. <laughs> I will never be able to sleep again. <laughs> Close your eyes, go to sleep. Not in my business, no. I... Imagine that. Oh, smart rats. So you don't <laughs> credit. Yeah, yeah. Go the rats. That one. The rats are even like. Yeah, <laughs> we're going to make him not be able to see. <laughs> He'll never kiss a girl again. Oh. <laughs> I probably wouldn't anyway. <laughs> his speedy bright bite his breathing tube. <laughs> it's Look gonna be face. so funny. Look you won't believe face. how funny this will be. <laughs> what a great prank, everybody. Good job. Crazy <laughs> eating <laughs> Indian rats. Yeah. <laughs> the red trials, whatever the hell day it is in uh, January, the year two thousand and twelve. <laughs> The Edge Files on 102.1. The Edge. Toronto's New Rock. And the Dean Blundell Show. Weekday mornings. 102.1. The Edge. Time for open phones. Hi, The Edge. Hello, Dean. Hey, how How are you, man? What's going on in your eyes? Uh, Oh, pretty good. I am good, Dean. How are you? Good, Brad. Okay, okay, Dean. I got number one five jobs for Indian guy with no eyelids. Oh, no. Yeah, you're talking about you're not you're not making any racist statement. You're saying the the Indian guy that had his eyelids eaten off by the rats in the hospital. Oh, yes, you got no. he's got five different job options, yes, right? Five number one jobs. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> number five, five number. Yeah. A sleeping pill tester. If I can make him sleep, oh man, I can make him sleep. Also <laughs> all right, all right. Number two. I like this. Okay, number two. <laughs> Seeing I Indian guy for Wellsman. He doesn't need a dog. <laughs> <laughs> Number three. Uh, video game tester. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Number four. Number four. Uh, absolute security specialist at my 7 Eleven store. You can't get nothing past me, man. <laughs> <laughs> and the fifth one. I photographer. <laughs> Did he say a photographer? Yeah, a little anticlimactic. A photographer. I was legit. taking pictures. I miss nothing. I never blink. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, good one. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, the edge. I'm not happy. I think that was really insensitive to be laughing about that person. Okay, yeah. can you let's recap? What exactly you upset about, ma'am? Uh, do I really sound that old? Oh, here we go. Oh, man. Yeah, this, we got, we got one everything. of those. I'm trying to be polite, and she's going, I don't sound that old. No, I didn't say it like that, but seriously, you're missing a sensitivity chip. That was, you know, I, I get that you want to act like 14-year-old boy. No, 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 no. you got to qualify what but it you is you're what? mad about yeah. because people, hold it, ma'am, pe- sorry, miss, whatever your name <laughs> Madam. is. Madam. What is your name? <laughs> Lee. Sweet? I'm using my real name. It's Lee. Lee. Okay, Lee. Mm-hmm. Tell us why you're mad as opposed to just calling up and screaming at us. What are you mad about? Because and then we'll address it. About someone who was almost eaten by rats, and I don't find that very funny. Okay, now you're referring to a story in the Edge Files. 
about a man in a rat-infested hospital who's 77 yeah. on life support who's already dead, correct? He's and, already dead? Yeah. And it's okay. No, it's okay. So we it's, talked so about it already. Okay. He's is on he life support. Or not? Is he alive or, or not? No. Is no, this he, a, so his heart's not beating? No, his heart wasn't. Well, he was on life support, so it essentially he's brain dead. Do you understand? Support. How old are you? Do you understand? What do you mean it doesn't oh, matter? God. What do you mean it doesn't matter? He's technically alive. No, he's technically... <sighs> Let me give you a quick medical lesson, oh my God. Lee. Here's the deal. On life support Here's and they the can't live on their own. This was a guy in India who's alive. 70 years old who was on life support and he was left to die and <clears throat> the rats ate his eye, eye it's eyelids. It's still not funny. And it's, well, it's funny, funny if he tried to blink. Yeah, you're a douchebag, man. Do you have a problem with me bag. saying ma'am yeah. and me being nice and some some story? You're the only person that's called. You know who you that? remind me of? I'll tell you who what, you remind what me do of. I remind you you of? remind me of the exact atypical example of why men hate women. And you know what you remind me of? The exact atypical example of why women hate men. Uh, yeah, yeah. Sounds yeah, like yeah. you two want to totally do <laughs> it. Yeah, you guys are going <laughs> to be so hot. <laughs> I'm telling you. I guarantee you, I know this girl's... Do- are, are, what's the matter? You got a bad job? You have a terrible no, relationship with your job. dad? No, I don't. Well, what's I wrong? Great life. You are what's wrong because you're. I'm what's yeah, wrong. Yeah, yeah. Change the I, goddamn channel, then. Let, I don't let, care. Let me intervene for one second. Oh, I don't I need you to intervene. Do, are there certain things you do laugh at what we say? Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes. Do you listen often? I'm not supposed to, but yeah. Why? why who's? Why aren't you supposed to? Because you're. Because what? Because we're. Buh. Are we a What's guilty pleasure of yours? What? Buh. Yeah. Was buh. Are we a Pretty guilty much. pleasure? Yeah, pretty much. Well, but but I mean, the good with the bad. I mean, listen. No, but I mean, yeah, in everything in life, line. ma'am. Sorry, one sec. Give me a second. Can, 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 and a guy's is, eye, a dead yeah. guy's eyelids being eaten off by rats is he is where you draw the dead. line. So you call in to he tell us there's something wrong with us. Dead. You don't understand brain dead and technically dead. Clearly, brain dead means you're dead. Your heart is being kept beating by a machine. That's it. That's all. That's all. It's still not funny. Oh my god. I know, but 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 is everything in life that, that other people find funny? Uh, uh, do you always find funny too? Like, did you like the movie Hall Pass? I thought that was really funny. Did you like that? Yeah, it was. Okay, some people didn't think it was very funny. I mean, okay, in, in that's life, different. that's just the way it is. You're but talking about someone's life, like you're talking about no, we're not something very tragic. We're talking about these little no, rats because no, we're not. Because we're talking about the really no, we're not. We're talking about how yeah. disgusting the hospital, hospital. Is in India. That's what we're talking about. No, you were laughing about the fact. No, that I was laughing about a guy with no eyelids because it would be hilarious. And to I watch saw him. Like, it. It would be hilarious to try and get him to watch sleep. I, like you if you get if you can that's sleep, funny? that's the guy you want to take the first watch in the army. And I saw it as like I. <laughs> and unfortunately, my you mind always goes to cartoons. To your, yeah. Anyway, I saw like a cartoon like these. Like I, I pictured like the little you'd chipmunks, like, but they were like, rats. You'd be like, like Muhammad, talking to each other. Muhammad's on first watch. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, to be <laughs> keep one eye open. <laughs> but are you still going to listen? No, not she's banned. You're banned. You're not allowed. <laughs> She'll listen. Well, you go listen to something else. She'll listen the whole hour. Hey, listen. Not Paula just while. emailed me, and she thinks you're being bitchy too. So don't be bitchy. Just enjoy life. I'm don't not don't get bitchy. I'm speaking my mind. Well, do, do you really think that I care? No, you don't. That's why I said. Well, because I, I completely point. understand. I understand the lines and where they need to be drawn. I've been doing this job for a really long time, and because you have a difference of opinion, doesn't make what I said wrong. I'm not taking it back. It's funny. Guy with no eyelids, no lips. Funny. I think it's insensitive, but I really don't think this conversation <clears throat> needs to go further. I'm pretty sure people are probably bored by hey, now. Hey, did you find the it? Rob Ford stuff funny? That was pretty funny. Yeah. <laughs> that was pretty I good. Care right? about Rob Ford? I don't live in Toronto. How tall are you? I'm. Not very tall. That's a, what's, what's, good, yeah, how's you, the butt? Five one. Okay, are you good looking? Oh, spinner. Yes, actually I am. Bull crap. No, she is. She's Bull hot. Crap. Are you I hot? Spinner. Are yeah, you hot? I am. How's I the am. butt? How's your butt? It's great. You okay, how are the boobs? You got big boobs? No. Okay, but I'm married, so I don't want to talk. I don't care. Anymore. I don't care. You can have boobs and be married. <laughs> your boobs don't go <laughs> you away. Don't, you when don't get married. Them. <laughs> I'm also a feminist, so this conversation. No kidding. Really? Feminist? No. <laughs> did, you, were you, did you did you agree with that slut walk? No, I thought it was stupid. You thought it was stupid, right? Yeah, me too. Yeah. Okay, we agree, See, on we that. agree on something. Yeah. Okay, that's great. Do you shave? <laughs> Do I shave what my legs? Nope. Yeah. No, that's wax. Ah, oh, hey, we have that in well common. Done, I like that smooth yeah, stuff I'm for sure. I'm in trouble now because my husband's probably listening, even though he's not supposed to be. You better not be in trouble. Why is she not that? supposed to be? Because she won't let yeah. him. She's she a makes feminist. the rules, <laughs> and that's why she's not supposed I to be. I told him that you don't listen because of that eyebrow thing. I just can't listen. She's laughing now. Yeah, <laughs> you think it's you're funny, cute. don't you? You're really cute. 
don't be so mad. You sound like you're pretty cool. Like you, you sound like you'd be fun to debate at a yeah. party. Just say we didn't agree with that. Yeah. You know, sometimes, yeah. fellas. I that was insensitive. You're entitled to opinion. it. Absolutely. And it was insensitive, and I will stick by that statement. Fair enough. Could you, but, but hold it, hold it. Can I ask you a quick question? If you were, com- it, it is. It's very appropriate. <laughs> if you and I, if you, let's say you and I became friends, <laughs> and we robbed a bank together. Would you not want that guy that had the rats ate out his eyelids to be the guy making sure the cops weren't hanging around outside? I wouldn't even think about that. That's just a juvenile thought. You'd, just, you'd be like, Muhammad, you keep a couple eyes out for the fuzz. That's or funny. like it's That's great. Fun. Like he'd be awesome to take pictures of because he'd never, like, you know, yeah, like yeah. he would just have red eye really yeah. badly though. <laughs> you're like, how could you could do this? Don't Go over there. You could take him to every staring contest with every kid in the world and he'd win. <laughs> There's benefits. Thanks, yep. rats. So let's try and look on the bright side, okay, babe? Just be a little bit more sensitive in the future. Okay, Fair I'll, enough. Try, I'll try. And you keep listening and give us the benefit of the doubt. Oh, no, right? you're not allowed. She's not allowed to. No, her. she's allowed. I like her. She's got a good butt. <laughs> okay, <laughs> listen. You go have a great. Are you at work? No, almost. What, what are you wearing? What are you? <laughs> what are you wearing? Oh my God. Do you like oh lace God. bras or cotton? <laughs> I think cotton. I can tell. Anyway, you guys have a great day. <laughs> See you, Lee. You're hot, bud. Bye. Okay. <laughs> you got to read these emails I'm getting from people about her. Let, dude, Lee, guys, leave her alone. She's not any of the things you have. Uh, Dwayne brings up a good point. Oh, my God. Imagine her husband. Can you get her to call every week? <laughs> I thought she was good, man. Yeah. Like, because you could talk to her. You could, you know, she was, she, she yeah. was like quick, quick uh, off the start, a little bit <clears throat> jumpy. But you know, you can, you can, you can always walk them off the ledge a little bit. You know, walk off, walk them off the ledge. <laughs> on, yeah, down, if, you're off, you know if you're walking off, if you're walking off a ledge, make sure there's no one down below. <laughs> Do it before what the is, firefighters is it raining? get there. No, that guy's walking off the ledge. <laughs> <laughs> it's white rain. Walking off a ledge. <laughs> what are you on the ledge? Walked off. <laughs> <laughs> He'd be a great umpire too. The guy without the eye, without the eyelids. <clears throat> yeah. See every play. <laughs> one two one on the edge. Pauses. Okay, that's enough. This pause brought to you by the Dean Blundell Show. Weekday mornings. On the edge. At the edge. So that girl, if that girl was my wife, I would have shot myself in the face a long time ago. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, the chick that called in who bitched about the uh, guy that had his eyes, eyelids eaten off by the rats? Dude, that's just plain out funny, man. Like, I don't understand what her problem was. I don't know, but it'd be, you know, because that's the guy you want on lookout all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, guys, you guys are great, man. I listen Thanks, every dude. day. Have a great day. Take it easy. Bye-bye. I, I didn't works. think there's anything wrong with anything we said, mm-hmm. but my, mind you, the the climate uh, folks are share some stories with you. But radio recently yeah. got in trouble for <laughs> for something that was so ridiculous I couldn't even believe Couple we were things. actually talking about it. Yeah, and then yeah. and then uh, and then we went back and it, it took up so much of our time. And then and then uh, all of a sudden we all realized, including management, hey, there's really nothing wrong with it. Yeah, no, not five much. Meetings. Yeah, yeah, five meetings. Yeah, and we have more to come. Yeah, we have uh, one on the twentieth. It's going to last for like two hours with the lawyers. Da, 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 da. We get to beat the lawyers. They're good though. Oh, great, oh, yeah, lawyers. They're great lawyers! And uh, you know, it, it's it, it makes sense. Got to keep keep us boys in check. You know what? Jane Connolly sent an email. Said no eyelids. <laughs> Deaner, that chick needs to chill out a bit and have some fun. <laughs> it got me thinking. It was a bit insensitive, actually. <laughs> really? <laughs> Thanks, Lee. Are you serious? <laughs> if it was like, if, because it was like. You know, I always picture again back to these cartoons, like little rats coming. <laughs> and I thought they were smart rats. You know, they're not. They're not. They're not. Uh, you know, planning uh, to 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 take over the abled body, fellas. <laughs> the crab on the. How did they know the guy was paralyzed? Like that actually takes. That's part of like human nature, right? Like like they they understand that. They first nibble. Nobody wished yeah, them honestly. away with their hand, and they went, "Wait a minute." We are cruel. Our our DNA is set in us that we are cruel as, as all uh, being animals. And you always take out the weakest. Yeah. Survival of the fittest, man. That's yeah. what the rats capitalized on. Absolutely. The Dean Blundell Show. 102.1. The Edge.